okay quick tutorial quick um, turn tutorial so turn units you start with the SUVs and the only thing you can build is uh, these guys here so the first thing is uh, is a supply depot usually so supply depot gives you a supply and since you start with 12 SUVs probably need to have uh, a supply depot very quickly so you can also create the SUVs of course uh, refinery and another um, command center but that's all you can do uh, before you make um, the supply depot so once you have one supply depot this opens the second level uh, barracks and engineering bay so all this stuff doesn't require gas and soon you will need gas barracks are for your infantry and um, once you have a barracks you can create uh, you can build a factory and once you have the factory, you can uh, build the starport. So it's uh, ground, make, then air. So put more guys into the uh, the refinery. Each mineral patch is uh, should be mined by two guys. So that's why it's nine out of sixteen because we have eight patches here. Once it's uh, sixteen, you will not be as efficient. Your barracks. Ok now we can do a factory uh, While this factory is building Your barracks can create these two basic units uh, The marines Which is your very basic infantry And the reaper Also once you have the barracks You can upgrade your command center To an orbital command Your engineering bay uh, Has the uh, weapon and armor upgrade um, level 1 to level 3 in the beginning you can only do level 1 uh, until you have the armory so now the reaper the, sub, the, um, the orbital complete. command complete. has 3 abilities the ability to scan somewhere so it reveal the map and uh, reveal also uh, cloaked units on that on in that region uh, you can also call in a mule so mule is like uh, it's like SUV uh, but it can mine mineral much faster than a regular SUV and it brings back much uh, more minerals it doesn't work on the refinery though and after a certain time it will expire so you have to call down another mule other ability is uh, uh, supply drop so if you supply drop on one of these depots it will double the uh, the supply provided uh, 16 instead of 8 now I can also build on the starport after the factory so this guy the, the Reaper uh, can jump up and down cliffs right? and uh, only one level cannot jump two levels and it has the ability to drop a grenade the grenade doesn't do uh, a lot of damage, but it makes you need jump. And if you shoot the uh, if you shoot the reaper and he, he goes out of combat, the reaper will regenerate his hit points very quickly. So now we have the three main buildings, production buildings. Um, we need more supply depot. Okay, so need more supply depot. Uh, let me demonstrate the uh, supply drop so X and you click on one supply and then you see this guy now is, uh, is special and provides 16 supply note that if the, s the depot is destroyed you lose 16 supply instead of 8 every production building can be can receive an add-on uh, either a tech lab or a reactor reactor is simple it makes the, the building build two units instead of one so you can then build two marines and uh, two reapers at the same time uh, for the factory you will be able to build helion 
and we don't mind uh, without um, the tech lab and for the uh, starport you can build vikings uh, mini pack and liberators so we're gonna build uh, one of each here and one of each here and uh, we already built the marines and uh, weavers so I need more supply and I will also create uh, an extension so that I can collect uh, more uh, more respin on this guy on the barracks I will put the tech lab and eventually also put the tech lab on each of these guys so the viking is um, air to air only but once he lands uh, he, he, would, he can attack ground then you can make it fly again on the ground is not very powerful you need though Complete. the widow mine is uh, borrows and becomes invisible once it's borrowed uh, and uh, then you can shoot uh, you can shoot you need in the uh, the coast the comes clear oh come on really I don't have anything actually. Okay, that's gonna be a problem since I don't even have any single unit. Uh, let me try the widow mine on them. So I will borrow the widow mine top of the of the hill, and they should be able to hit them. Uh, now we also so this guy is a medivac. It can transport units, and it can also heal your bio. So this is gonna be healed, and you can put them inside too. Okay, uh, need to continue this. Finally, the liberator. The liberator is air to air. Has a little bit of slash damage, but its strength is really the uh, its uh, siege mode. So it's called Defender Mode, where it will siege up, so it cannot move anymore, but it will shoot down on this circle and, uh, and do massive damage. Okay, so we have Vikings. These are all the units that you can create without uh, a tech lab. So if you put a tech lab now, uh, you will have more options. So you cannot put a reactor and a tech lab, you have to make a choice. Also, the tech lab, the tech lab uh, is where you upgrade uh, research, when you research new upgrades. Uh, for infantry, it's um, combat shield, so that's 10 more hit points for your marines. Uh, steam pack, the, classical s the, the classic t steam pack from Missy one And uh, last one is um, concussive shells for your marauders. Now we can create marauders too. Marauders uh, shoot uh, missiles, so it's also still ground. Rockets, still ground. Uh, but they are better f against armor. They, uh, they do body uh, damage against armor. And this upgrade, the last one, will also make your concussive grenades slow down units. Mm, so put this guy to work. Your Once the tech lab is attached to your factory, you can create uh, cyclones and siege tanks. So let's create one of each again. And here you will be able to create ravens and, and uh, banshees. So one of each here. So I want to collect more gas. I have a feeling I, I'm going to need some. Okay. But uh, Raven is your equivalent, kind of equivalent to the science vessel in the SC1. I'm also gonna uh, have an armory for the the mech upgrades. So this guy is a cyclone. It's, uh, it's a strange, as a hybrid uni unit. It um, it can shoot uh, uh, air. I think you should. Uh, I'm not sure actually. Yeah, air and ground, 
but its uh, most useful feature is a lock on. Once you lock on on the on the unit, it will shoot while moving, and the range is pretty pretty high. So this the tank. Uh, the tank comes with siege mode, so you have to research that. Other than that, it's a cl it's a uh, it's the normal uh, 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 Starcraft tank. Uh, the Helion, we didn't really talk about it. The Helion is a um, it's like uh, the Vulture. It does splash damage in a line, so it and it can be upgraded uh, in the uh, factory. So these are the factory upgrades. They are up there's one upgrade for each type of unit. The first one is for your your um, uh, Helion, and will make them uh, have additional damage against light. So we research that. We also research the. Uh, the the Macfield uh, accelerator that's for your cyclone, and that makes the cyclone uh, lock on uh, stronger. See the lock on this guy. Okay, lock on is gone. And uh, what else do we do? So we research, and then we have a, a research on the widow mine. The widow mine then becomes uh, burrows much faster. That's, um, that's a big advantage. And the last one is a transformation for your helion. So this guy, once you have the armory, uh, can transform into a hellbat. Or you can create this hellbat right away. Um, so you can either create a hellbat and transform it. They go back, uh, back and forth. He a helion mode, like uh, mo very fast, mobile, into uh, into little robot. So it's a tankier, but it's lower. Research. Uh, then so we can research the drilling claws, and this is just gonna make them switch mode faster. Uh, now for the uh, upgrades on the um, on the starport, you have upgrade to have additional energy for the Raven. Where's my Raven? It's this guy. So Raven is a detector, by the way. And you have these three abilities. The first one is a simple turret that you can drop. Well, it's, it starts shooting uh, stuff around it. Second one is uh, is anti miss. The last one is anti-missile armor, and that reduces the armor of the units that are caught in the blast. So, for example, if I shoot here, so it also applies to your own units. Uh, this guy is affected, and he will have minus armor, so minus three armor. Of course, he cannot go below zero. So, uh, no, it's, it does go below zero. I'm not sure actually. I think it does go below zero. Well, that would make no sense. I'm not sure of that. Okay, let, uh, let's shoot again. Mineral field depleted. Minus three. Uh, I need to research. research. I think it does go below zero then. Then finally, the last upgrade is uh, the interference matrix, but I need to build up more energy. Uh, so that's the last tier. No, no, the, the one to last tier of defense or of upgrade. Of units, I'm sure I say. Your banshees also can cloak, so that's an upgrade here. And let's research that. And this one here makes your minivac boost uh, longer. Oh, yeah. So minivac can boost. If you put bay, it would uh, shortly accelerate. Uh, so this is not. This if you want, you can make that cool. Uh, the acceleration lasts longer. And finally, you have uh, if you have the armory, you can make tours. And if you have the last special building, which is the fusion core, then you will create the f the capital ship, the battle cruiser, and that is the last unit that you 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 can build uh, as a turn. So this guy now has uh, interference metrics. 
So if, if you shoot, uh, I can cut my own guy so to find uh, the enemy. In the meantime, let's see the uh, this guy. Oh, we also have ghosts, right? So we can for ghost we have to to have the ghost of academy. Your forces are under attack. Complete. Okay, that was not very good. Okay, so I can use this now. So let's say uh, I use this on. Uh, where did it go? Okay, so let's say. Oh my god, let's say use it on this tank. So the tank cannot shoot. That's uh, that's what it does. It blocks the tank from shooting. All right. So this guy has cloak now. So no, oh, but cloak would not work because he has raven. Still one. Um, so yeah, so I research. I got this fusion core. So now I can build battle cruisers. And I have the ghost academy, so I can also create uh, ghosts. And battle cruisers and ghosts are the last units. In the um, in the uh, in the uh, ghost academy, you can research cloak for your ghost. Uh, the um, Enhance, enhance EMP so let's have some ghosts first and the nuke so you, you arm you arm the nuke by research uh, by uh, building one nuke in your ghost academy and then your ghost can can uh, launch it can well can uh, target one place and the, the missile will come from the ghost academy so if you want more than one uh, nuke you have to build uh, you can build several ghost academies okay so up mineral field depleted there are a couple of sh uh, good shortcuts here f3 will select all your idle uh, suvs and f2 will select all your army in one go so of course pros prefer not to do that because every unit will suddenly be coming but if you're in a panic, it's uh, and you don't know where your army is. F2 is the is a nice shortcut. Um, the upgrades, the final upgrades that you have in the uh, uh, in the um, engineering bay, are not very used often. One is for in increasing the range of your turrets and planetary fortress. So planetary fortress is a second upgrade that uh, you can do instead of. Um, on your command center, instead of having it as orbital, you make it a planetary fortress. So the planet planetary fortress has, I think, more hit points. Uh, so far, we have 1500, 1500. Let's see how much we have after the upgrade. Uh, so the ghost, uh, we can search ghost. Uh, so this ghost has. Uh, has a few good abilities. He has the EMP, which uh, removes shields and uh, uh, like a um, DMP from a science vessel. So you shoot an area, and, and energy and cloak units will be uncloaked from that area. Shields will be depleted by 100, and energy will also be uh, depleted by 100. So now it's oh, still 150. So what happened? Maybe more armor? He has three armor now. And this guy has one armor. Yeah, so he have just has additional armor. And he has a, this big cannon. So that cannon does 40 damage. So if you are, if you upgrade uh auto sick tracking, uh you you get additional range on your on your on this cannon and on all the miss missile turrets. Uh, the other upgrades that you have for air, uh, okay, let's see. You can do this. It doesn't really do anything. Also, design the nuke. Okay, he, he killed my ghost. So my nuke is not going to land. Uh, what else can I do? Okay, so these. This uh, fusion core has also some upgrades. 
the Yamato gun for the battle cruiser, which is a uh, is a classic. This one uh, makes your medivac. Uh, oh, that what it did that? Right? What's the other one here? Oh, oh no no sorry. This one was Banshee is going faster. This one is the one which reduces the cooldown of your medivacs for the boost. And finally, it's the uh, upgrade for your liberator. So these upgrades will increase the range of your liberators. This is quite good as well, but it's a pretty expensive uh, upgrade because you, you need a fusion core for that. So I think we have done everything. Uh, we have all unlocked everything. And uh, and we have all the units, one of at least one of each. So we reviewed everything. Let's take a, let's take a look. Your your building uh, has energy, so uh, command center has energy. But planetary fortress has done because it has no ability, and our normal command center has no uh, energy either. Uh, so normally you should not forget to to use your energy. Otherwise, when you waste time, uh, your okay. What else do we need? Uh, this is the EMP. Uh, this is a research for EMP, right? Uh, this is these are your research for make so weapon, armor, and uh, weapon air. Um, whip, uh, armor for make is shared between. Uh, ground and research air units uh, need to have a research here it works for both this guy I'm researching now uh, liberator range gives plus three range it's quite good okay and okay so your your battle cruiser can teleport whenever they, wherever they want so for example I can go I can teleport here that you don't even need vision you will, you will uh, appear after a while and you can Yamoto uh, so both uh, tactical jump and Yamato are on the cooldown it's not based on energy uh, you can see the, ba the the ship is quite strong it's very strong uh, so you can get another battle cruiser uh, these guys we saw, Marauder, Reaper, Marine, uh, Helion. Uh, Helion and Hellbats are like dual, you can transform one to the other. You have Widow Mine, uh, Cyclone and Tank. The Thor has a secondary mode. Upgrade. Where was the Thor? Is it destroyed? Where's my Thor? So it's the F2 and then you can find all your units. Okay, so this guy for example. I can now jump it back. Oh no, I cannot jump it back, it's still on cooldown. But once it's done, I can jump it back. And once it jump back, you can repair it. So that's a, that's a pretty good strategy. So your tank, uh, your Thorpe, sorry, uh, has a secondary mode, I was saying. Uh, this guy we saw Viking. Viking has land and air mode. Uh, Medivac, Liberator has two modes as well. A uh, Raven, uh, Banshees, and Battle Cruisers. Yeah, so that's that's the only one that is left is the um, is the Thor. So let's take a look at the Thor. Uh, we didn't research everything, but I think the rest is pretty uh, self-explanatory. This one is a. Uh, in the additional armor for all your buildings and you also increase the um, the, the space in your bunkers okay so this is our Thor normally your Thor will attack air with uh, splash damage so it attacks ground and air but for air as you can see it's uh, 6 damage only and 12 versus light but once you switch into cannon mode it will create it will shoot one target but with more damage and now the damage is higher against massive each each unit has a type you can see that like armored mechanical massive so if you shoot um well thor can shoot each other with these cannons this is only for air right 
uh, pretty sure cannon is for air. And others for ground, it would just it would still use the, the same weapon, uh, 30 damage. So I think this is it. These are all the units you have in the, uh, the turn. Uh, I hope I hope this is this is, should be get you started. Uh, turn is not too hard to, to, to play. You either choose bio or you choose mech. But really, you have the ability to to build every unit. So since the upgrades are either going to be from armory or from uh, engineering bay, uh, you pick a path and you go for either a lot of armory with some support tanks. So armory um, infantry would be uh, med uh, marines, uh, marauders, medivacs, so MMM, and some tanks. Or you go with uh, with air, um, sorry, with uh, mech. So tank, Thor, uh, and Hellbats. And sometimes uh, Terran will go for air, so they will go battle cruisers and, and Viking uh, Manchis. These are the, the three major uh, strategies. Okay, so that's it for now.